Governor Ralph Northam wants to legalize marijuana for recreational use in Virginia, and it will make the Commonwealth the first state in the South to make this move. Our Tracy Sears tells us how families that have faced addiction are handling this announcement. Governor Ralph Northam says he wants a responsible approach to legalizing the recreational use of marijuana, one that promotes racial equity and protects youth and the environment. Dr. Abu Abubakar lost his adult son, Adam, six years ago after he became addicted to prescription drugs than heroin. Cigarettes and alcohol and prescription medications are much more definitive um, way to drug or hard drugs uh, than than a marijuana. Abu Bakr says legalization could clear the path to more studies on the benefits of the drug, but says like alcohol, the industry should be strictly regulated and off limits to youth. The only thing that I would say is that hopefully we'll have strict uh, regulations of where it's sold and who sells it. When it comes to the racial component, a joint legislative audit and review commission found that while black and white Virginians use marijuana at similar rates, black state residents are three and a half times more likely to face arrest. They count three to one racial disparity right now. I think it's higher than that. You know, it's an incredible racial disparity problem. John Schenholzer founded the McShin Foundation, a recovery program in Henrico County. He supports the legalization of marijuana. And what I've seen, you know, since I started this recovery organization, the people who, who smoke pot, they do less damage to themselves in the, in the community than the ones that do opiate, benzos, and alcohol. But opponents, including Smart Approaches to Marijuana, a Virginia-based group, says the legalization of marijuana could result in the creation of an addiction for profit industry that targets minorities and young people. And that was our fear back in the day. Once We're afraid that marijuana was a gateway drug, Ed and Debbie Rosenbaum you know, say they have a change of heart now that their son is a recovered alcoholic. But I feel like it's a step in the right direction, and I feel like it's just a matter of time before we all decide that this is the lesser. And, and it's all about harm reduction, I think. Well, the governor hopes to introduce legislation to legalize marijuana in this year's General Assembly session. While legislators voted last year to decriminalize the possession of small amounts of marijuana, it's unclear whether this legislation could gather the same support.